Hey, what's up guys? It's Ken Crack here. I'm coming to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to reverse boost in Modern Warfare 3. Or in any of the older CODs like Vanguard and MW2 you still play those. But uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. The first way that I started at the beginning of this year, which it's the hardest way to reverse boost, in my opinion, is I play on PS5. So my second account is on the Xbox One. So what I have to do is I have to first you have to play five games of your bot account and just die the whole time. You just walk around and like you shoot around in the, on the ground. Make sure you don't kill any enemies. Don't cap any flags. You don't win. Just five games of just walking. No sprinting. Just walking around letting the enemies kill you. And then it, it works after that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah like with the one account which I had played on before. It's harder to connect the games because it obviously throws you in full games. And it's not the best way to do it. But the best way to reverse boost is if you have two consoles or if you play on Xbox or PC and your second, if your bot account is going to be on PlayStation. On PlayStation, you can split screen. So if you split screen, you have to do both bot accounts, five games. You can do them in the same game on split screen and get those challenges done. Like, not challenge, like, getting the dyers or whatever, just dying the whole time to play bots. But, yeah, if you have two consoles, like, I have a PS4 and Xbox One. That's where my two bots are on. It makes it so much easier because if I'm hosting it with my Xbox account where my Xbox is the main <clears throat> the main bot which I join, that would be my bot account is no cap, you suck on Xbox. I join on that, like, I search with both my bot, both my bot accounts on the same team. And then when I load into the game... I back on my PlayStation 4 bot, and it works where <clears throat> I get the games easier. Like, I'm searching right now on my Xbox One, so when I find the lobby, I'll join in, and then it should instantly connect me. Usually, you have to wait until your bot accounts are connected in the game for both of them, and then I try and join, which you'll see here in a second whenever my bot gets connected in, <clears throat> and it makes it so much easier to, to level up, get... Your cam was done. It t people do say it's cheating. I do not think it is cheating. I think it's just the way have fun, which Call of Duty used to be like. Yes, I do feel bad for like shitting on kids the whole time. Like, I only reverse boost at this point. There's no point of not reverse boosting. But yeah, right now my bot is still searching. They are connecting to a game. All right, so I'm in a game with my bot account. So I will back out. I will join in. So I'm joining in. And if the game is not full, it automatically connects you in. But if you do have the bot accounts, you have to wait in the screen. It will connect you in eventually. It may take a little second. Yeah, there. I'm in the game. So right now, they are kind of high levels. They might also be reverse boosting. But not necessarily. But uh, basically, this is how you reverse boost. Like, <clears throat> You got to make sure you have no kills on your bot accounts, which isn't hard to do it you just walk around and all that stuff like if i could go to leaderboards i will show oh the match is about to start so i cannot but i guess i will play yeah i left my bot account there i will play this game out of domination i will see if these kids are actually are being and see if uh it works all right so i have no team i guess what's the ping looking like 56 ping. Oh, boy. That's not good. But, uh, all right. We're going to use the Holger here. <coughs> Possibly. I don't know. We'll see how the other team plays. Jeez, it's so loud. Game chat is so loud. But, all right. Let's get, let's get really... Uh, the, so, I'm playing Domination Hardpoint for the reverse boosting right now. The best option to, like, find the most amount of bots to play is just normal 66 TDM. That's where a lot of the bots are on. And, uh, shit, that could almost kill me. Yeah, this is a good lobby. Uh, but yeah, the most, the best game modes to play are definitely either 6v6 TDM or the featured playlist, so like the 24 7 playlist. That's where a lot of the bots will be playing. Alright. But, uh, the problem that you'll have when you're playing, trying to RB, like when you're RBing and all that. Yes, you'll play against shitters. You'll have bad teammates. But majority of the time, your teammates... There's two ways your teammates play. They either 
only play objective or they do not play objective. Yeah, see, like, these kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, see, one, it's easier with two accounts, like, definitely. If, if you have two extra consoles, this is the best option, is to just load up both games. Like, if you do play on the PlayStation, like, if you, for me, I only had to buy the game twice, so I bought on Xbox and PlayStation. Because if you play on PS5 and the PS4 is your bot, you can primary active, make your PS4 main account, like your main account on the PS4 primary active. So that means you don't have to buy the game twice on PlayStation. But I'm uh, gonna. Yeah, these kids are not good. Like, you see, my teammates are not capping flags. I usually tend not to play the objective. Because it is kind of boring. Is this kid still laying in the same corner? Oh. Is now like a Bruh. I don't know why people talk in game chat, bro. Like, shut up. I literally shot first, died first. That's crazy. Yeah. Now the problem is teammates love to cap the two home flags. They love to cap A and uh, A and C all the time. All right. Can uh. Like, also when you're RBing, when you're playing your games to go through the accounts to, like, play the bots, you could tell if uh, if it's working in, like, your third or fourth game where if you walk around, if you're playing TDM, the best one is to play TDM if you're trying to find the most bots. If you don't really care about high kills, definitely play TDM. But, yeah, the bots, uh, the players you play against... You'll know if it's working if, like, you're walking in front of them and they're missing all their shots. And, like, panicking. Like, they'll shoot you and then pull out their pistol, miss all their bullets. Like, it's kind of funny to see that. But, uh, yeah. There's going to be... They're down the hallway. Yeah, see how these kids are not... These kids are not good. It doesn't look like these people are real, and sometimes I quit. Bro, what? I try to call my fucking advance. Sometimes I do question if these kids are real. It is pretty uh, bad. The players get sometimes like, I don't get how people are so bad at Call of Duty. Like, I understand a lot of people. Not everybody's good at any every game they play. Like, obviously, like, oh boy, shoddy, fire, shoddy, man. Yeah, the bots when you play, they play they use some of the weirdest fucking guns. For sure. Like Oh, I have a teammate that has an Overwatch. Oh shit. Oh boy. This is not good. I'm literally fucked here. Okay, this kid is laying on the truck. Didn't give me a scav pack, man. I saw that kid in the corner, I'm pretty sure there. My aim is so bad. <laughs> yeah, these kids don't have many kills, which is good. Like, at the time of recording this, uh, the featured playlist is, I think, Rust Mint. No, I died on a nuke streak. Fuck, what was I doing? But, uh, the mode's Rustment, which will probably have the most bots in there. That, or, because it's a free weekend, any of the free trial modes will have a lot of bots in them. But also a lot of sweats, too, at this point. There's a lot of people that reverse boost. It's, it's pretty crazy.
Dude, where is this? Okay, they're leaving, which... It's kind of weird how the other team is leaving when... They're kicking my team's ass. Kinda, in a sense, with them winning. But they are getting their ass kicked by me right now. Oh, I would, did not expect them to spawn there. I swear, bot, like, these bots use, like, some of the weirdest stuff ever. Like, they use actual grenades, stuns. I died again, dude. I can't drop a nuke this game. What's going on? All right, they should be spawning over here. Sad, I can't get a nuke while trying to record this video. It sucks. Don't get a nuke, it's whatever. I don't really... kind of hard when trying to like explain and trying at the same time like also to help my teammates are deciding to triple cap them which this is the other this is the problem like you either have teammates that cap everything or they don't cap everything no way I die hmm. I should have gotten nuked this game but Bro, like, come on. The kid's so bad. It's just fire shot he killed me, man. It's so annoying that... What they use. Just fire shotguns and all. Yeah, look at my teammate. What's he doing? Well, that was the enemy shooting my teammate, I think. But as you see, like, my teammate, he's like... Look how he plays it. The bot way. Oh. Taken. Taking. They're not taking A. Oh my god, teammates. I probably shouldn't have killed them off of uh, A then. What the fuck? Yeah, like, look how that guy's playing. Such a bot. But it almost killed me, though. What's that guy doing? He's facing the other way. Sitting in the corner. Like, come on. No, they're going for B. Going for the wrong flag, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Of course, right at the end of the game. No way. 94 kills, but no nuke. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, reverse boost thing. Showing how to reverse boost the Modern Warfare 3. It, you do need two accounts, which is a main reason why a lot of people can't reverse boost. A lot of people can't afford two consoles. So, like, <clears throat> my opinion, I personally think they need to remove skill-based matchmaking. I could still play without skill-based matchmaking, but... It's just not as fun. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next MW3 video.